there's actually quadrillions of invasive mussels in the Great Lakes right now. And there's so many of them that they're sucking all the life out of the lakes. It really is kind of an offshore biological desert out here. The ecosystem change that these mussels have had is greater than anything we've seen really since the glaciers. Freshwater just doesn't get near the attention as our oceans do, but globally, freshwater species are far more imperiled than ocean species. Documentary filmmakers Yvonne Drabert and Zach Melnick took me out on Lake Huron to show me firsthand the shocking underwater scene that very few people have ever witnessed. So the robot we have is kind of a special robot. It's really the only one on the Great Lakes right now. Just the whole lake bottom has been transformed by these little guys. So now we're down at 77 meters. Oh wow, there's so that's way pretty more deep. there. In the 1980s, the invasive coaga mussel made our Great Lakes their new home changing our ecosystem drastically. The quagga mussels make the water clearer and everyone sees that water and they think, oh, it's so clear and beautiful and, and that's amazing. But actually it means that nothing's living in that water. Because of that, we have impacts that go all the way up the food chain to the fish that we as people like to eat. And so there's a lot of communities around the Great Lakes, indigenous communities and traditional fishing communities that have been really affected by the loss of these fish. You're telling me it's medium density and there's so many. <laughs> Yeah. At this point, I was already baffled, but the story didn't stop there. Oh, look at them all. We got one, two, three. Probably four, the coolest five, thing we've been able to nine. film so far for All Too Clear is Lake Whitefish spawning. So, this is a species that has been hugely impacted. Super cool. Really rare footage. Inspired Planet Productions was able to capture the most recently documented footage of the spawning fish in Lake Huron. A win for their dock, but also a win for the adapting fish. We immediately shared that with our scientific partners and, and they could see that these fish did seem to be really connected to the spawning habitat. I thought it might be too late in the year, but look at all these guys. This is the most we've seen in one spot. Now, do you think that possibly this could start happening more often, them spawning later in the season if conditions start getting more warm? Climate change is a factor in, in everything happening in the Great Lakes right now. And when fish uh, spawn is definitely one of those things that's triggered by temperature that is already changing and it's gonna continue to change as the lakes warm. What would be the problem if we just let the mussels own our lake? I mean, we may not get a say. It's one of those things where they have changed so much that even if we got rid of them tomorrow, the shock to the ecosystem of just doing that would also probably be catastrophic. So we just really have to be cautious about what happens next with the ecosystem in the Great Lakes. The research continues and the underwater findings have just begun for these two. You can learn more in the documentary All Too Clear, coming soon.